This week, we continue our foray into JavaScript. In case I haven't beaten the dead horse, JavaScript utilizes Java programming language. As a reminder, all previous work is available for review on the web space and again, begin organizing your files for easy location when we FTP them to the pirate.shu.edu web server later on in the course. Some interesting notes, if not important notes, XML works well with JavaScript. As you saw last week, JavaScript can help in getting a cookie as well as setting a cookie. Cookies store small amounts of data, and the expires function helps us set an expiration date on a cookie. And cookies are available in the same directory the cookie was created in, unless we change our path. Here's XML and JavaScript working together within an HTML file. You'll notice our JavaScript is referenced here externally. Here is our JavaScript as a JavaScript file embedded with some XML code. You'll notice XML HTTP request can be used in JavaScript as well. There are some concerns with cookies. They can be overwritten in a browser, which is allowed based on the browser. They're also prime targets for SQL injection, where your username could potentially be retrieved. So we begin building assignment seven. When we can use JavaScript, not only can you put the code within the body tag, you can also put your code within the head tag. So here we are using an on click to check for our, a on load to check for our cookie, where it says here my name, put your name in. And you will notice on the next slide, there's some information we need to put within our script tag, which is our code seen here. Put this within your script section of your HTML file. If you were to use an external version to do this assignment, which you cannot do at this time because you have yet to upload anything to your web server, you can use the script tag as such to source where your JavaScript code is sourced. And then this would simply be what was in your .js file. This specific code would be in your .js file. Now we go back to our on clicks. In this instance, we are displaying date and time. If you were to use this HTML code, you would get a date and time from our header two code and this on click button. Click me to display date and time. You'll notice the arrow here. If you were to click this, the date and time would show up. When comparing JavaScript to HTML and CSS, you'll notice that HTML has the information or content of the web page. CSS helps us in how it looks, and JavaScript helps us in how it runs or behaves. Here's another on-click example. 
when running this HTML code, you will get a button that says the time is. Once you click on it, you will get the output seen below, right here, with your time information. Here's another. However, this time, we're creating a change within the element. So when you click this button, it gives our date information as a button. Here are some common JavaScript elements that can be used within HTML. On change, on click, which we've covered at length, on mouse over, on mouse out, on key down, and on load. Just like Java, JavaScript has arrays, those little brackets where you can put information in, Booleans, which is true or false, a math class, a random class, objects, functions, and assignment requirements for variables. And last but not least, there is a JavaScript community available at javascript.com. You will notice here tutorials, questions you can ask within the community, and much more. And that concludes our fun little journey into JavaScript.